Welcome everyone to this presentation about World AIDS Day in Belize. This is all about discussing HIV AIDS as it relates to the country of Belize and in particular discussing the different ways Belize has celebrated World AIDS Day in the past and what's planned for this year on December 1st. Given that Belize has the highest HIV prevalence in Central America and the second highest in the Caribbean, the government has placed considerable focus on coordinating a national response, which includes activities pertaining to World AIDS Day. The country has made a lot of progress, as evidenced by the UN AIDS report on the global AIDS epidemic, 2013. According to the report, Belize is at the top of the list of countries where adult HIV incidents declined more than 50% between 2001 and 2012. The majority of World AIDS Day events in Belize are organized by the Ministry of Health and the National AIDS Commission of Belize. Ms. Joan Burke and Ms. Melanie Montero from the Belize Family Life Association are members of this commission. Various smaller organizations also host their own events, including BFLA and its youth arm, the Youth Advocacy Movement. Since 2011, the main theme for World AIDS Day activities has been getting to zero, zero new HIV infections, zero discrimination, zero AIDS-related deaths. In the past, Belize has initiated various creative projects to promote World AIDS Day and bring attention to prevention, testing, and treatment, as well as what it is like to live with HIV. Last year, Channel 5 Belize aired a two-part series called Healthy Living, looking at the lives of people living with HIV in Belize. In 2010, Belize held a World AIDS Day music video contest, which invited Belizeans between the ages of 15 and 24 to submit promos for music videos that they would make to speak to youth about HIV and AIDS. This is a promo for that contest. Yo, Belize, this is invites young Belizeans to submit demos for the music video they would make to speak to youths about HIV and AIDS. Don't worry about high tech, just shoot some video with your digital camera, your cell phone, take some still photos, or even sketch your ideas out on paper. Combine your images with the music track found on our website and get it into us before November 22nd. The winning entry will receive $1,000 cash, plus you will work with a team of professionals to turn your idea into a real music video. Cash prizes will also be awarded to the second and third place entries. Everything you need to know is on our website at worldaidsdaybelize.org or check us out on Facebook. Remember, the contest deadline is November 22nd and the winners will be announced on World AIDS Day, December 1st. There are also youth rallies held each year in the different districts on December 1st. The intention of the rallies is to encourage more young people to engage in responsible behavior in order to prevent the spread of HIV, as youth aged 15 to 24 are the group most vulnerable to infection. The rallies include singing, dancing, dramatic skits, and other forms of entertainment, as well as interactive activities. This photo was taken at one of the youth rallies at the Bliss Center for Performing Arts in Belize City. This is a video from the World AIDS Day Youth Rally in 2010 in Corozal Town at the Central Park. This performance was hosted by the college's Self-Defense Club. The group wanted to call attention to the link between gender-based violence and HIV transmission.
Health fairs are also a part of World AIDS Day in Belize. Sexual and reproductive health organizations like BFLA will host such fairs throughout the year, but leading up to World AIDS Day they focus exclusively on HIV and AIDS. These are some photos from the health fairs in Belize City and Punta Gorda, Belize. These are some of the materials used by BFLA during our health fairs. This one is typically used at schools or with young people. Participants match a series of actions with the appropriate level of risk they hold for contracting HIV. Actions like sharing a cup are no risk, while oral sex without protection is low to middle risk, and sharing tattoo needles is high risk. This HIV AIDS Spin the Wheel game awards participants with prizes if they answer correctly. These are some of the HIV-related brochures that BFLA displays and distributes at health fairs. This year, Belize will be hosting similar activities and events to the ones hosted in previous years. December 1st is also the National Day for HIV Testing in Belize. So Belizeans are encouraged to get tested and many free services are available. The Belize Family Life Association and its youth arm, the Youth Advocacy Movement, will be hosting a special event in cooperation with the Global Parish Project which is a nonprofit in Belize that has developed programs involving filmmaking, training, emerging video artists, and personal storytelling by youth. And Youth Voices, the program launched by Global Parish in 2010, which is a community arts platform that seeks to contribute to youth empowerment and identity building. BFLA and YAM, along with Global Parish and Youth Voices, will be hosting an open mic night on November 29th in honor of World AIDS Day. Youth will be welcome to perform spoken word poems, act in dramatic skits, sing, or do anything else they'd like to stage. The event will be held at BFLA's Youth Center. The youth officer from BFLA also visits schools in the area to discuss HIV and AIDS. They are similar to the weekly peer education trainings the youth department already does, but these are focused exclusively on HIV AIDS and young people. This is a photo from one of BFLA's peer educator visits to a high school in Belize City, focusing on safer sex. Condom demonstrations are one part of these visits. Here is Garisha, the president of BFLA's youth group, the Youth Advocacy Movement, who has set up a booth at a school in Belize City. This photo was taken when St. John's College students visited BFLA for a series of sessions about sexual and reproductive health. This particular activity was about the spread of HIV. It's called the Fluid Exchange Game. It teaches students the ways that sexually transmitted infections and HIV are spread, as well as the risk of infection. Big Chats is BFLA and YAM's weekly television and radio show that focuses on sexual and reproductive health and other issues relating to young people. It airs on Saturdays in Belize and is hosted by members of the youth advocacy movement. Topics vary from week to week, and there is a special guest each week as well. Previous topics include teen pregnancy, HIV, healthy relationships, and violence in Belize as it relates to youth. You can find the previous seasons of Big Chats on BFLA's YouTube page. Here is a promo that explains a bit about the show. Big Chats. Great vision. The show that is not afraid to tackle the issues that you care about. The show that is inspired and created by youth for youth. The show that gives you what you've been asking for. The show that gives you a voice. Yes, Belize, the Belize Family Life Association's Youth Advocacy Movement is back with the number one rated teen show on the airwaves, Big Chats, Big Chats. at 3 p.m. on Love TV and More FM. Now, with more surprises, more segments, more giveaways, and more burning issues, tune in and log on to Big Chats. Big Chats. On November 23rd, the topic of the fifth episode of this season was HIV in young people, which included discussing the various events happening on World AIDS Day. The guests for this show were Mr. Middleton from Youth for the Future and Mr. Cacho from POSMO, which is an organization that distributes information on sexual health and spreads awareness about the risks through behavior change communication. 
The episode was also live tweeted on BFLA's Twitter account. Overall, education and awareness are the central facets of World AIDS Day in Belize, and in particular as it relates to young people. I'll be recording some of the events I discussed here that will be happening on December 1st and will post them on the ICAD intern blog.